love. Hello, my friends, my clowns, my friend clowns. Hey, I got a question for you. Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? The answer is a creature I don't much relate to anymore. To be honest, I like Squidward more. Yes, you heard me. I relate hardcore to Squidward. He shares my urge to frown. Don't judge me. Anyways, today we're talking about SpongeBob SquarePants. In this episode of Clown Lore. Now, Spongebob has always been a really good show for me. I couldn't get enough of it as a kid, but have you ever wondered about the clowns in the show? Well, today we are shedding light on these honking fellows. Now, the first clown we will look at is from the Season 3 episode, Krabby Land. In this episode, Eugene Krabs of the Krusty Krab decides to start a playground setup to attract children for the summer. And while Mr. Krabs counts their money, he has Spongebob stall for him. After a long time, the children can no longer be entertained by Spongebob. So Mr. Grab gives in and poses as a clown, simply wearing a funny tie and a tomato painted blue as a nose. The children don't take kindly to this, to say the least. They're unamused, so they have him tied up and they have him fed lima beans. And then they toss his money out to everyone else. And then in the season 10 episode, Krusty Catering, Patrick is a clown, at least for a birthday. But he's not a very good clown. He makes a balloon rock instead of a balloon animal. This causes a child to get flown away while holding the rock. Now, let's talk about this episode titled As Seen on TV. It's a season 3 episode where Mr. Crab is having a commercial made. Squidward is basically in charge of it. He's supposed to hire people, but he hires a bunch of fancy pants directors and actors, and even a clown. So Mr. Krabs fires all of them, except for the clown, of course. And why is this? It's probably because clowns are awesome, especially this one. This clown reappears in Season 7, the episode Spongebob's Last Stand, where he is now a black-haired clown and appears with another clown. This second clown is only listed as Blue Clown, but he looks like an Augusti. That being said, I love the first clown's choice of hair color. Now, we've talked about a few clowns today, but barely any of them have gotten any screen time. That's why we're ending on a full-on clown episode. In season 11, there's an episode titled, Don't Feed the Clowns, starting with Spongebob and company going to a circus. There is where they meet, uh, it just says his name is Incidental C1. Apparently him and his ally are C1 through C19. Uh... Okay, I'll just name them all right now. Here we go. Tiny, Papa Dot, Mama Dot, Patch, Lox, Stretch, Ponytail, Clown Boy, Stripes, Barrel, Slashes, Mother Fro, Bullseye, Bullhead, Biggie, Smalls, Pinocchio, Ball Boy, and this one. I can't really think of a name that he would tell me. So Spongebob sees that Tiny is hungry and is worried, and despite the warnings from the ringmaster, he feeds him popcorn. Later, Spongebob finds out that Tiny smuggled himself out of the circus in his bag of popcorn. And Tiny doesn't want to go back, so he tries to get him a job. They try all sorts of jobs, a hot dog vendor, a businessman, a fireman, even a baker, but he's fired from every job. Spongebob takes him out to the kelp forest. And that's where they discover Slapstick Plains, a place for free-range ocean clowns to be free-range ocean clowns. And Tiny heads off to live happily ever after in the Slapstick Plains. Side note, y'all notice how no clowns, like the actual clowns, ever really talk? Huh, Alex Bale, get on that. Now, we've gone through a lot today. I hope you held your breath while you were underwater this whole time. And with that bad joke, we're going to end it here. Please subscribe and ring that bell so you can see the next episode when it comes out. And I'll see you in the next episode of Clown Lore.